Hey guys, this is Echo Soundworks, and you are checking out a serum tutorial for ADSR. In this video, we're going to cover the new Hall Reverb update that was just released with Serum version 1.095. So I don't typically do synth update videos because developers do updates to their synthesizers all the time. But this one warrants a video, in my opinion, to not only cover the parameters within the Hall Reverb, but also just to get the news out there that this update exists. So like I said, you need version 1.095. You can download it for free in your X for Records download page on your user account. So with this update, Steve Duda, in my opinion, addressed one of the weakest components of Serum, and that was the reverb. It was just difficult to get a good, rich, deep musical sound from the plate reverb. Not so with the Hall reverb algorithm inside of Serum. So we're gonna look at it and talk about the controls now. So I actually have, I'm going to do a quick A-B. I have the initialized preset in Serum loaded up, just a saw wave. I have the reverb plugin set to Hall. And I'm going to turn the mix off, so here's the sound. Right, makes sense. Now I have Valhalla, Vintage Verb, and I loaded up a Concert Hall preset. And I changed a couple of the parameters, but the mix is at 100%. The uh, shape and all, that, all the uh, diffusions, that was where the preset was at. Same with some of the high frequencies, high shelf because th that's how it's emulating a concert hall uh, mode, I guess. But what we're going to do is we're going to compare how these sound, because Valhalla, the Valhalla reverbs, in my opinion, are some of the best reverbs money can buy. And they, for $50, it's a no-brainer to get a few of them. So we have the Valhalla Vintage Verb, and I have that on right now. I'm going to play something. So let's turn that off and let's turn on the mix now for the reverb in Serum. I'll do that one more time without talking in between. So we're gonna go Valhalla, then Serum. All right, so as you can hear, they're a little bit different sounding, but the quality is in the same ballpark, which to me is amazing. Um, so we're going to go through and talk about some of these controls now because they're a little bit... There's these two interesting controls on the far right. It's called spin and spin depth, which those blew my damn mind <laughs> when I started to mess around with those. But we're going to talk about the controls. So you have size. The size works in a percentage. Uh, it's emulating a hall. So if you think of like a concert hall, the larger the size, the bigger the, the physical space. So small size percentage will be kind of like a small stuffy bathroom all the way up to a huge, you know, to a big hall. I would say for, in my use of it thus far, a good for a good range of size percentages for most sounds like leads, plucks, pads, synths, chords. I would say anywhere from around 20, 15 to 20 on the lower end. All the way, it depends how high you set the decay. All the way up to probably around 50, 60%. Past that, you're going to get into the realm of more ethereal, more ambient sizes. All right, so let's let's take this down. The decay works in supposedly milliseconds, but I don't buy it. Uh, for instance, if we turn the mix up to 100 and we turn the uh, decay up to 250 milliseconds. Okay, that's ringing out forever, but there are a thousand milliseconds in one second. This is going to ring out much longer than a second. Listen. So if I, t if I turn it to about one, uh, 21 milliseconds, I mean, that's getting closer to 50 milliseconds is closer to a second. It's a little bit longer. So the, I don't think, I don't know how it's working in milliseconds. Uh, it's a little bit weird to me if it is in milliseconds or maybe it, because if you arrow over it, over the knob, Serum will give you a hot tip. It says verb pre-delay, which this is the pre-delay knob with the plate reverb. So the, the controls from the plate to the hall are different, hence why I'm going over them. So we have size and decay instead of size and pre-delay. So that, I don't know if that's sorted out yet with the update. I don't know if they're going to address that with a future release. 
Now, next we have low cut and high cut, which works in um, uh, percentages. So this will take out low, take out the low frequencies from the reverb and the high cut will take out the highs. Okay, very useful if you're trying to put some reverb on a lead and you don't want the low frequencies to be reverberated, you can then you know boost the low cut percentage or vice versa if you're doing a bass, you want a little bit of space on it. All right, next we're gonna get to the spin controls. These are really cool. For instance, if I crank these two up and I have the mix up at about 50%, this is gonna sound like a, like a unison super saw sound. Right, and if I turn the reverb off, we're literally rocking the default preset. So that's all coming from the reverb. So if I, if I turn, let's turn the mix all the way up. We'll turn the spin all the way up. We'll turn the spin depth all the way up. So it literally sounds like a detune unison or an LFO on the tail of some type of LFO type movement on the tail of the reverb, the decay tail. It gets faster as you go up higher. It gets a little bit more prominent. But that is that is insane. And the mix is up at 100, so if we take this back a little. It's, it's kind of like a super saw reverb tail, which is incredible for anything lead bass plucks. This is gonna sound great. And I'll th we'll throw it on some presets here in a second. And then you get the uh, mix control, which goes from zero to 100%, and this is blending the reverb signal into the dry signal. So speaking of looking at some pre presets, let's look at it with this sound. So I'm gonna turn on the reverb, make sure I'm on hall, and let's play this real quick. All right, so that reverb just sounds lush and good. It wasn't hard to get uh, we're going to look at the spin depth, though. So let's turn that the spin and the spin depth all the way. Turn up the mix a little. So it's a cool sounding effect. The spin and the spin depth is going to be great for future bass stuff. All right, guys. So that sums up this look at the Hall reverb mode inside of Serum. If you have any questions or comments, post them below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Like I said at the beginning of the video, I'm Echo Soundworks. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I'll see you next time.